y'all how y'all doing today it's your girl Kashay, and i'm back with another freaking house tour y'all now today i'm gonna be looking at mississippi y'all know that's where my grandmother is from and uh, i don't know i just got upset i got upset a little bit but i don't know i the other day i was on facebook quick little story before i get into the video I was on Facebook and I read a lot of posts. My grandma was speaking to some people that was in Mississippi and she was just like, hey, just letting y'all know that's why I haven't been down there. That's why I can't go down there. I had a stroke and that's what irks me. I just, I want my grandma to still, I still want her to live her life. Like when I say that girl was on getting on the plane and going to Jamaica. So I'm like, okay, girl. But just to know that she like had a stroke and she's now like, you know, she's now at home. And I know she she likes to get up and go, go to Mississippi, go. She still likes to travel. She likes to travel, still get in the car and drive and go places. And that now came to a stop. And I, it just kind of bothered me a little bit. But let me go ahead and get into this video. This is a six bedroom, 4.5 bath, 5,200 square feet on a 0.5 acre lot, y'all. Absolutely that. Absolutely that. And it's $469,000. No HOA fee. It's just giving good price, big bedroom. It looks like a big, nice, beautiful house, y'all. I'm loving it. It it does give me Texas Chainsaw Massacre little vibes, <laughs> just a little bit. Um, but I love it. Oh, and it's giving a lot of backyard. It's giving a lot of backyard. It's not giving too much for me to get a lot of animals, but I can still have some something back there. You know what I'm saying? I can still have something back there. Um, it does not have a pool, at least not, not what I see. Is that like a little house on the side too? It doesn't say that about no guest house. Now this right here, it does look a little old, but you know, it's nothing to fix it up. And oh, okay, okay, okay. Is this like an outhouse or something? Hmm. I see where I can have a fire pit. I would definitely have a fire pit there. Definitely try to put a pool there. Um. It's given space. I see a lot of space outside. And it does look, it still looks beautiful. It still looks beautiful. So I absolutely love that. So it's starting to get into the inside. So now let's hurry up and go ahead and do this 3D tour, y'all. On 3rd Street. House is on 3rd Street, Mississippi. Okay, I love that fireplace. But let's go ahead and start where the door is. Bam. Here we go. Front door. Um, hmm. okay, so I do like it, but I do not like the green, the green flooring as soon as you walk in, you know what I'm saying? But I love these flooring. I wish they would just fix this, not fix this flooring, but the flooring in the front. So I just wish that was kind of fixed, but I do like this area, how it gives you a nice little beautiful room um, with the fireplace. Love that. And then over here, oh, it's another little living room with the fireplace. So maybe I would be able to change one into an office or a nice dining room or something. Something to where I, I would change 100% one of them because I don't really need two nice formal areas. Oh, here goes the dining room. So I could have one as an office. Okay, okay. So you're giving me space already. You is giving space already, okay? So um, let's go ahead and go this way. Oh, the flooring continues. I would definitely just try to change the flooring. I, I just can't do the green floors. When we moved in, we had green carpet and that's the first thing we changed, y'all. That's the first thing we changed. So there goes the dining again and here goes the bathroom. It has a tub, love that. Oh, I like the wallpaper too. I wouldn't change anything in here. This green could stay, but no green on the floors. No green on the floors. Right here, we are in the kitchen. Okay, just looking around, looking around, looking around. Is this giving me a double oven? Yeah, it looked like it. And then I don't know what exactly room this could be. Maybe we could make this into like the dining, another dining, but it does have a second set of stairs right here. I just wouldn't leave it open like this. Like I feel like this is just wasted space. Like I could definitely make that into like the kids game room or a little play area for the babies or something. Just leaving it empty like that, I wouldn't do it though. I wouldn't I wouldn't leave it completely empty like that. So going over here. Okay, here goes. Wait a minute. This is a nice bathroom. It's like a master. Wait a minute. And then this 
is supposed to be the closet, I think. I think. And that's back to the kitchen. Okay. This is that bedroom that we've seen. Okay, okay, okay. So I feel like I could make it into an office, but it's actually a, a living room to the master. So I would no, I would not change that actually. I would love to have a living room to the master, make this closet the best closet it could be, give it all of every single piece of storage I can get. And then going into this bathroom. As long as I can have all of this together and make this a fully my master suite, that whole side of the house, I don't want no other access to it. You know what I'm saying? I don't want nobody to be able to walk into it whenever they feel like it. You know what I'm saying? Just let, let that all be me. Let me enjoy that. Let me enjoy that. Okay, so now we're going upstairs. I've only seen one downstairs. And what was it, a five or six bedroom? Five, six. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So going over here, is this another? Okay, wait a, wait a minute. Is this the master? I thought the other one was the master. So this one has a fireplace. And it gives two doors. It has a nice, beautiful light fixture right here. Love that. It still does give this little extra room so it could still make a little living room area if we really wanted to. If we want to have this as a master, if we're going to have downstairs as a master. I feel like the downstairs one is just a little open. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely would I look at this bathroom first. Let me see. Oh, no. I choose the one. <laughs> I choose the one downstairs, unless this is giving like different sides. Okay, here goes this, I, maybe, we're gonna see. We're gonna see what you're giving. We're gonna see what you're giving. But I just know that bathroom, that's not, that just can't be it. And then, okay, so that this can't be the master. The master had to be downstairs, it had to be the master downstairs. So this is, just checking, this is the stairs that we've seen earlier. The stairs we seen earlier. So this right here is a room. And here goes the laundry area. Okay. Okay. So what's over here? Okay. So one thing I don't like, I don't like having to walk into a room to get to random rooms, y'all. I feel like every room should be able to be accessed from the hallway. Now, I don't know if this is a, a hall door right here. But it looks like we're literally walking through the freaking house to get to this room. Like, did we just not have to walk through? This is the bathroom, okay. Did we not just have to walk through that room that was like had the baby stuff in it? Yeah, this is like, look like it's the baby stuff. And we had to walk through it to get to these rooms. So I like these rooms. I love the ceiling fan. I love that it has this bathroom. I absolutely love it. I think it's gorgeous. I just hope there is a better way to access this stuff. I cannot stand. I feel like another house too I was walking through earlier. And I'm like, I, I don't like how I'm literally, I have to walk through a room to get to a room. I don't like that. Now what if somebody's in there dressing or changing their clothes or whatever and don't want to open the door? Or what if they somebody got an attitude? What if somebody sleep? Anything like that. So now I can't get to that side of the house. Or, oh no, they got to go this way and walk through the rooms that way. You know what I'm saying? It's just a little weird. It's throwing me off. It really is. It really is. Like this house can be so gorgeous, but you tell me I got to walk through here. And then that could be a room too. So am I making it a room then? Okay, here goes in like a little baby room as well. I see a bunch of rooms. And it, it does look like maybe they could access it from different sides. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, yeah. It looks like they could access it from different sides of the house. So this way. I don't know about this way though. You have to go through this room right here. That would be like a living room area. And then there'd be more bedrooms that way. Okay, so it's a big circle. You could access it, but I just feel like it's so closed off. I just feel like if somebody was to be rude or lock the door or something like that, you would then have to unlock it. Or not unlock it, but you would have to, okay, I guess I can't go this way. I gotta go this way to get out or something. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I feel. That's how I feel. But I'm absolutely loving the master downstairs, that whole area. Um love that i absolutely love the uh 
I love a lot of things about this house. I do feel like it's just a little weird with the way that they did things. Like, I just want to be able to access everything, you know what I'm saying? And I just feel like you just got to walk through. You either got to walk through that little living room. I think that was the living room area upstairs to get to other ones or you have to walk through the bedroom. And that's just kind of, ugh. But then it's also, it will also be nice because it's still giving multiple living areas. It's still giving that master is given. That master is given, but I will close some of that stuff up because I don't need people to be able to access my my area for what. Um, I like it. I would give it a especially because of, for the pro, ooh, for that price. I like it. I, it would definitely be like a nine. It's just weird. I just think it's kind of just a funky. Y'all let me know how y'all feel down below. Do you, would y'all mind? Do you feel? Do you understand what I'm saying? Like to walk through a room to get to a room. Or would you want that like fully open to a living room and then you can walk, like I, I'm not a living room, like a full hallway. Things that aren't having hallways nowadays. It's like you got to walk through this room to get to this room to get to that room. Like, I just feel like it's kind of weird. If What if I'm trying to get to a kid and I'm trying to walk through this way? I would have to walk through that little living room way or walk through upstairs that way to where there's doors, you know? Versus just walking. Like, right after just walk. Ain't no go through anything. You know what I'm saying? But I did like it. I did like it. Catch you in the next one. See you later. Bye. Yeah.